hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel please do what you see on your screen by subscribing to my youtube channel this is the best youtube channel for lifestyle updates for fashion and daily updates for your favorite reality tv shows don't forget to give this video a thumbs up at the end of this video if you really like this video so guys this Saturday night party happened yesterday and the live eviction show happened today so i'm going to do like a quick review of what happened from the saturday night party and the live eviction show you know Saturday night party, I wasn't really feeling the vibes, you know, from the DJ, but the housemates had so much fun. The most interesting thing was what happened after the Saturday night party. You know, everybody was so lit. I think Juicy J was a bit drunk, you know, and he was flirting with Jenny. Oh, I was surprised because I never in my wildest dream expected Juicy J and Jenny O to, you know, have some, some kind of connection with each other. So on one hand, I was thinking maybe the CJ was trying to get Yvonne jealous because it seemed like two of them had a bit of a teeth, they had a bit of like a fight. So I was trying to make her jealous. But the funny thing was that Jenny Wu was actually entertaining his advances, you know. And immediately after she was done, you know, flexing and all, she went to Yvonne, you know, showing girl power, saying girls have to stick together. I was like. You almost kissed Juicy J and I are telling you even girls have to st st stick together and you know, it was so shocking how all this you know happened last night. Then coming to today, the eviction show finally came and it was actually a fake eviction show, but the housemate didn't you know know that Ebuka and Lawrence wanted to put the housemates on their toes, wanted to scare them a bit, you know, and they called out those people that were put up for nominations. He called out all their names. So he also they also asked some of the housemates some questions. He asked Jenny O, Ebuka asked Jenny O rather about you know a cooking in the Big Brother mansion. It was like, is that a strategy? And she said no, that she loves cooking, she loves cooking because it makes people happy. And I'm like, people have actually used this strategy in the past. I think um boss lady did it. I've forgotten her name. She used that strategy. Lucy used that strategy. White money uses and actually worked for him, you know. And I'm, not, I'm like, if she knows how to use it very well, you work for her. I feel like this housemate need to know that some housemates already started using that strategy. They should stop dulling themselves. They should be on the lookout. And it's actually not bad to have a strategy. So he moved on from her and he went to. Justin, he talked about how Justin was being so quiet in the Big Brother mansion, you know, and it felt like, you know, that was actually not good for him. And Justin said he is just observing that this is the first week. And I'm like, when I saw Justin on stage, that's when they were introducing the new housemates. I was like, this guy, is he going to last? I had my doubts about Justin. And then seeing how, you know, he's acting up the first week of Big Brother, Big Brother and I'm like, this guy will not last. If it was up for a vision, it would definitely go home, you know. Also, Ebuka and Lawrence were talking to the new housemen that joined this week. And they were doing like a, a short introduction, nothing really special. But the one that stood out was that of Sandra. You know, Ebuka mentioned that she said something in a diary session with Biggie. She said something about one houseman not welcoming her. And she actually stood by it. You know, one thing I would give Sandra is that, you know, these are... Um, love for drama she's you know going to stand by it no matter the cost and Ibuka was like questioning her about what she said and she was like eh, she already trashed the issue with the person in question but that question actually brought about a lot of drama because nearly Ibuka left them you know Kosi took it up Kosi was like she welcomed her she Kosi was trying to defend herself in front of the housemen and you know other housemates were trying to calm her down and i was like sandra you do this one <laughs> you know and i feel like this is going to cause beef between sandra and kosi subsequently you know and ebuka then mentioned ebuka and lawrence also mentioned that there's going to be a twist for the next nomination that people that asked the housemates to play a game girls versus boys you know and now they're going to play another game and I feel like this is going to, you know, affect the nomination process in the sense that it might be um, Nigeria and South Africa together, like a duet or something. So I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. But I feel like that's the game plan they're going to go with. That's 
the game plan that actually makes sense at this point but let's see how that goes i'll make sure to keep updating you guys you know as everything unfolds in the big brother mansion